Hi folks, Will at LR Workshop, and this is an update video to my Stormforce cover review I did that uh, seems to be getting quite popular, but I thought I'd do an update seeing as it's now been three and a half years and four winters on the cover. If you haven't seen that previous video, go and check it out now because I'll give you probably some more insight that I'm going to give you in this video, but I just want to do an update to see how it's looking. Isn't it looking amazing? That looks incredible. It's like brand new. Only joking. Uh, this one died completely. Uh, in March 2019 in the UK, we had quite a lot of wind. We're talking about 50 mile an hour gusts in the lowlands and this thing just got shredded. Uh, this is, so this is where the bonnet was and the outer layer of the material has uh, pretty much disappeared and when it's wet this stuff is just like paper it's like toilet paper to be honest it's um as you can see this uh, rips in half down here uh, there's lots of other holes all over the place um it just wears through on the edges um the top on the this is on the top of the roof covered in lichen which this is good because it stops that going on the vehicle we look at the inside the inside's still pretty damn good actually this is really just smooth soft a lot of integrity left on it it's just the outside really that's um let it fail uh, and the sides are pretty good still it gets it's quite rough it's very bleached um but it does tend to wear through on corners and edges and this kind of stuff And so far as the paintwork on the vehicle, because I know people get, a lot of people get worried about that, it's going to rub through on the, on the vehicle. So we'd be looking at corner edges and things like this, where it's kind of resting, touching and rubbing, perhaps. Um, this does tend to flap a lot on the bonnet, the bonnet area and down the sides. Um, but let's look at the paintwork. So what I did before I put this away, before I put this away for the winter, is I wash it and I um, polish not polish, sorry, wax the surface. And uh, you can see on here, in the sunlight hopefully, the paint is still intact, completely. I'm having a hard time focusing. The paint is completely intact. No, it's not rubbed through at all. On here, down the side, and where the straps go, under along the edge here, That's just a bobbly bit. It's not rubbed through on these rock sliders either. And then at the back, this is normally gets uh, hooked down under here and it tends to ride up. Ride up quite because it's got a roll cage on it. Um, this is not from the, this was there before, this is not from the, the, the cover, but as you can see these corner edges. Very nice condition. One thing I will say is that if you live in an area where, let's say a rural area, and you've got mice around, um, they do tend to love this cover. Uh, now this is not, this is from mice, but it's not when it was on the vehicle. This cover was taken off for about two days and just bunched up in a, in a shed and the mice get in here and they just eat it. Um, so that's something, so that's just our fault for not putting it away properly. Um, the mice just get at it and they love it. Uh, so something to be aware of if you're uh, you're somewhere where there's mice or rodents or other things like that. Ideally, you would fold it up and put it away in the bag that it came supplied with. So let's give this uh, cover a bit of a summary then. This has given up the ghost in four years. And this is not a criticism at all, actually, because it's kept the vehicle in excellent condition. And look at all the crud it's kept off the vehicle. For the price point, these things aren't that cheap. We're talking like 150, something like that. But if you break that down into four years, you're paying 40 pound a year to keep your vehicle in good condition through the winter. It does keep a lot of the, um, it does keep a lot of the uh, rain off, all the muck, the bird crap, any leaves, that kind of stuff. Um, it does keep it remarkably um, dry. It does get wet underneath. A lot of that is condensation. 
um, in heavy rain the water does seep through it does run down on surfaces this is um, kind of algae it's all dried on it now I can't even scratch it off this is kind of like yeah greeny greeny muck algae on the windscreen um, so this this kind of does grow under the surface um, because it's damp but it is breathable fabric so it does dry eventually um, it's just that you know it's not going to be kept I'm a, I pretty much leave this the whole winter before I do anything with it wash it off in the summer um, you can see here so it does get mucky underneath a lot of this will be yeah, mold and and just grime that accumulates um, so that's just something to be aware of you can't it does need a bit of TLC every now and then if you're covering your vehicle for a long period of time I think this was a great buy actually and I'm gonna buy another one because the one that's on there at the moment is for a different vehicle temporarily um, I think I'll be buying another one to go on the vehicle so thumbs up from me uh, if you got this far and you haven't watched the other video then the link is on the screen to my previous review and subscribe because I'll probably post another video in the future that you might find interesting about Land Rovers. Bye for now.